Welcome to part 81 of my Let's Play of Fallout New Vegas. On our last episode, we recovered the body of a fallen NCR Ranger and left it with his fellow comrades out in the sun. We came to tell his significant other that we got the body back, and we also played Good Cop, Ga Bad Cop until the game glitched and we had to load the autosave. But we managed to do it then, as a result, without putting a scratch on him, which was the plan from the beginning, but I got frustrated and started punching him when the game glitched. So, we are looking for Private Morales. I honestly don't know where she is. She's somewhere here. So let's see if we can find her. Um, Private Morales, are you around? Maybe she's on the concourse? Hey. Generic NCR trooper? All right, Carrie Boyd has left the prisoner now that she got the information out of him. Um, Private Morales, was she outside? Was I mistaken? Honestly, couldn't tell you. All right, this goes to the monorail, which got blown up. Maybe she was downstairs? Colonel Shu. If you're hearing a lot of noise right now, it's because my cat keeps jumping on the mic stand and messing it up. You may have heard him meowing near the beginning of this episode. He's getting frustrated that we can't find Private Morales and wants me to do it in a more timely fashion. Considering we don't have a quest pointer to mark where they are here in the base, it is taking longer than expected. Colonel Shu, can you tell me where Morales is? We're all impressed with the work you've done for us. I thought you might be able to make use of this. It's a key to a little hideaway south of here. We've used it as a place for rangers to rest and resupply. I thought you might get good use out of it. NCR safe house. That's nice. Well, it seems like you like me, so Captain Gillis at Bitter Springs needs reinforcements. Can you spare any? I appreciate your concern for Bitter Springs. You've already been quite helpful to the NCR. I suppose it's only right to return the favor. All right, you're done. We've got two more things we need to do here. We need to find Private Morales. And we need to tell them that they have meat coming from the Crimson Caravan. So, I guess if I can find the cook here at Camp McCarran, maybe that's where I'll find Morales. Alright, that way goes to the monorail, so that isn't it. Maybe it's on the concourse? I bet this is it. That's her. Private Christina Morales. Did you start looking for Esteban? I did. I guess my directions could have been better. I brought his body to an NCR position. He's on his way back to McCarran. They put him in a box? With a flag and all? I hope so. He'd have been proud. You're too good for this rotten town. First kind thing anybody ever did for me in Esteban. You ever need anything, all you need to do is ask. 
Thank you so much. Feels better knowing that Esteban's not out there in the waste. But he's still gone, you know? Yeah, I know. Alright, well that is taken care of. It's not a quest, there's no XP, but we did it because we are good people who have very rarely done something evil in this game. So hello! Let hey, us hey. see... Back for seconds, huh? Crimson Caravan agreed to trade meat and spices at a generous discount. You managed to swing us a discount and cover the majority of the meat supply we need. Good work. Okay. Is that it? What parts are needed to fix the food processor? Here's the list. We've been scrapping together quick fixes to keep it running for months. I think it finally crapped out and needs a full overhaul. It's the goofy machine behind the counter in the corner next to the stove. I'd be much obliged if you could take a look at it and get it fixed up. I don't know. Try the various... Oh, I've heard of a place called House Tools you could check out. Just a word of warning, though. I hear no one who goes in there. Alright, so I think I know where that tool shop actually is. I need to say goodbye so that I can check out the food processor. And repair skill of 80. Do I have a repair skill of 80? Failed. Alright, so I guess we have to find all of these tools that we need, which might be on various notes. If I were to go to data and miscellaneous. So somewhere down here... Meat vendor list. Sell snacks and meats. Food processor parts. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Two pilot lights, two pressure cookers, two conductors, two fire hose nozzles. Four fission batteries, two steam gauge assemblies, two sensor modules, five scrap metal, and one pot. I think I'm just gonna not look for the parts and just get the repair, repair skill of 80. I don't want to mess with that. Current skill is 60, so if I did have a fixing things magazine, I probably could do it. I do have a fixing skills magazine. So... We are going to use fixing things, make it 80, and jury rig the machine. Success! The machine is running. Howdy, looking for chow? I fixed the food processor. Amazing. I thought that thing was done for. That'll help me transform what I can offer the troops. I'll give you a little extra discount the next time you buy food from me. Thanks again. Alright, well, I don't need these conversation pieces, so I don't know why they're still in your conversation tree, but I'd like to buy some food. Chow down. He thinks a pencil is food. That's interesting. Might explain why the NCR is in such bad shape. So yeah, the food's been done, the dead body's been done, um... Is that it for McCarran? I got the, uh, troops. I think we're ready to head back to, uh... The other place. Forlorn Hope. So, I've been thinking for a long time now, and honestly, it's been a long time since this is part 80, I think, of this game. 81? I don't know. It's high up there. About how I'm going to make contact with the Great Cons. I am vilified there. I believe they're going to try to kill me. So, that little tooltip that came up there about wearing different factions' armor kind of struck a little true. I don't remember, I don't think I have any great con clothes. 
like uniforms that I can wear to trick them or at least get them to not shoot at me maybe I'll have to go kill one so that they'll be nice to me you know follow my lead did the game just freeze on oh, okay good I thought the game froze on me again uh, world map we're heading here to Camp Forlorn Hope which the closest place is Gibson Scrapyard so we're gonna go there and while I was here I probably should have rested in a bed but uh, I can take I can try to rest in a bed on the way to uh, Camp Forlorn Hope because if there's a place where I think I should rest and be at full health it's Forlorn Hope so we're gonna sleep in um, Ms. Gibson's bed Assuming it isn't trespassing. Maybe I can wake her up and get in her bed. Old Lady Gibson. Wake up. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Uh, before you do that, uh, let's see what I can have repaired. I've got some things on me. I can repair my jumpsuit. Uh, what, uh, what can I do that doesn't cost very much? A BB gun. I don't even know why I have that. She isn't skilled enough to repair those two things. Thermic Lance only takes 210 caps to repair. Doesn't do any more damage if I do, though. So let's see what she has for sale. Anything interesting? No duct tape. Alright, nothing too interesting. Let's sell some crap while we're here, see if we have any cigarettes. That's the easiest thing to find. Uh, carton of cigarettes. She has tons of caps. 7,300? Jeez. Alright, whiskey. Pack of cigarettes, is it in here? Rat meat, we don't need that. Anything else in here? Could probably sell one of these laser rifles. I'll sell this one. Laser rifles are easy to come by, it seems like. Iguana on a stick. Sell these poison glands, I don't need those at all. C4 I really could sell for a lot. I feel like maybe I should keep it though. Alright, I think that's going to be it. Let's go ahead and sell. 683 caps coming my way. Pleasure doing business with you. T Take care. Oh, I can't sleep in her bed. This is all for naught. Oh well, maybe Forlorn Hope will have us. Uh, maybe there's some hope for a bed at Forlorn Hope. All right, so let's set our marker here. It's not too far into the wilderness. We're gonna set it for right here. We wanna move the marker and head east-northeast. We have enemies and I don't have a gun equipped. fare very well against uh, plasma pistols. That's okay.
I see some windmills. It's possible that's the camp we're looking for. I also see some Cazadors. They see us. And I'm not going to make that shot, so... There's two of them. So just keep moving backwards. We'll let them come to, come to us. Alright, that took care of him. So this one has poison glands. We're going to take those and sell them. How about this? What do you got? Nothing. Southern Nevada Wind Farm. I thought it was worth coming to check out, just in case. If nothing else, it is uh, a fast travel spot we can use. What are you looking at? Oh, jeez, dude. He found more of them. More to the south. We just tag team that one. Got more down here. Jeez, these things are all over the east side of the country. They're really annoying, too. For the first time in this game, it seems like I'm running out of plasma pistol rounds. I'm going to have to switch to a different weapon. I messed him up. Boone finished him off. Yes. The ones that have poison glands are very welcome. Because they're going to use them on me either way, but I'd at least want to pick them up and sell them. If I'm going to get poisoned, I might as well get some money out of it. Alright, this kind of looks like a path up through the mountain... I don't see Camp Forlorn Hope. Is it on top of the hill? Let's look at the map one more time. Alright. Now we placed it a little more accurately. We should be able to use it. Alright folks, we are here at the top of the hill at Camp Forlorn Hope. We're going to go ahead and head down the hill without dying, if we can. Hopefully Boone doesn't just dive off and die. We'll find out. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. On our next episode, we'll check out Camp Forlorn Hope and hopefully find a bed to heal up. So thanks for watching. Tune in next time.